Welcome to the Dark Horse Chess Channel. Today's game is between Vladimir Mikhailovsky and Nathan Solon. Alright, game started. E4, C5, D4, C takes D4, C3, D takes C3, Knight takes C3. This is the Smith's Mora Gambit accepted. Knight to C6 was played, Knight to F3, E6, Bishop to C4, and Bishop to B4. This is the Smith Moore Gambit accepted pin defense. Here white is down a pawn, but white has three pieces developed to black's two. White's queen has great range, and both bishops have good range, and white can castle on the next move. Black is up a pawn, but it only has two pieces developed. This bishop can't move. The queen has good range, but not as good as the white queen. And black can't castle for another move. The chess engine rates a position about equal with the best moves for white, being castling and playing queen to e2. White castled. Black played knight on g to e7. Many times in a Smithmore gamut, the white's dark square bishop will go to f4 and attack these weak dark squares. If this happens, the knight can jump to g6 and gain a tempo by attacking white's bishop on f4. White played bishop to g5, black castled. White played e5. White is looking to control this weak d6 square. White could potentially move his knight to e4 or b5 and then jump here to d6 cramping black's position. Black played h6, white went bishop to h4, and black played bishop takes knight removing white's powerful knight at c3. After b takes c3, white's pawn structure is a mess and a pawn on c3 could become a target later on in the game. The engine gives black a slight advantage here with queen to a5 being the best move. However, black still has a big weakness at d6. I black played queen to c7 with x-ray attack against the undefended white bishop. White played bishop to d3 and black went knight to g6 with three pieces attacking this weak pawn on e5. White when bishop takes knight. Black played pawn takes bishop. White responded by going bishop to g3, protecting the weak e5 pawn. Black's pawn structure is fractured. Black has a big weakness at d6. The bishop at c8 can't move. And a rook on a8 hasn't moved yet. And there's no weakness here at g6. White, on the other hand, has a weak pawn at c3. This rug hasn't moved yet, but it can spring into the game at any moment. The engine gives black about a half a pawn advantage with b6 being the best move. Black played b6. White went queen to d3. This is a dual purpose move. The queen on d3 attacks the pawn on g6 and also defends the pawn on c3. Black finally moved his bishop by playing bishop to b7, and white went rook on f to d1, attacking this weak pawn at d7. I black played best move, rook to f7, protecting the d7 pawn. White responded by going queen takes g6. Black played the best move again, knight to e7, attacking the queen. And here the best move for white was to go queen to d3 and keep the pressure on the d7 square and also protect the c3 pawn. But white went queen to g4, which was a good move, but not the best move. Right, black played bishop takes knight. White played pawn takes bishop. Black played rook on a to f8. And white went rook to d3. The rook to d3 move protects this pawn 
and also allows the rook on a to swing over to d1 and attack the weak pawn on d7. Black played rook to c8. White did play rook on a to d1. And then black blundered by playing knight to d5. On the surface, this looks like a good move as it blocks the d-file. But white has this beautiful move. Rook takes knight. And after pawn takes rook, white has a discovered move, e6, with a discovered move against the black queen and the white pawn attacking the rook. Right, the engine gives no way out for black. The best move was queen to c6, but in the game, black played d takes e6, and white played bishop takes queen. Game over. Please subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for watching.